Patience has avoided me so much money this week in the markets. Patience, patience, patience. All right, so if you obviously noticed the majority of the students did exit the trade, but this is basically reversing all the way back. And now people are asking me, do you enter again now? Do you enter again? It's like, dude, the trade already happened. The move happened. <laughs> like, you, you missed out. Sorry. <laughs> like, you got to be part of the call. Now, I do believe if this closed anywhere remotely up here, I do believe that the next day it could fill this ginormous wick. But I would have to see how this one hour time frame closes because, you know, I don't want to enter a sell after this strong bullish push. I'm not an impulsive trader. I don't want to put to risk the account on something like this person. What did I tell you guys at the beginning of the week? Oh, and then of course we can't forget this one. This is probably my third most interested in one where we're waiting for the break and retest as well to enter this trade. Daily time frame price action is looking very interesting as well. All right, bro. What are we doing? Buying or selling? Buying. Why? Come on, come on. Why, why are we buying? I just explained to you before we got on the camera why we're buying. Why are you nervous, bro? Pizza again. <laughs> All right, dude. So basically, we're having the retest of this market exactly how we wanted to on the daily time frame. We have the daily bullish engulfing candlestick. When we go down to the four hour, the four hour time frame, we're having the perfect retest of the structure. Mm -hmm. And when you go down to the one hour, on the one hour, you can see that we're having the higher low retesting previous structure point and we're having our engulfing how we want to enter the trade. You got it. <laughs> And then lastly, this trade is playing out to perfection. We are finally breaking out of this downwards channel. We are having the break, not just wait for the retest to go long. So when this happens, I take this off because we already had the break. Now we gotta wait for the retest. It's funny because all I did was just stick to my plan and just set a pre. The trade was absolutely beautiful. Retest, that was a perfect entry right there too after that rejection, like, oh man. And you know what's funny? I was probably up about like 3,500 when we were down here. I was just knocked out. But I do plan to set and forget this trade could take us to like 10,000 odd, I'm realizing. Oh man, what a day, what a good day. What should I do now? All right, bro. Come on, we gotta make, make it run. Come on, hey, we, we Bugatti, Porsche. I think we got, we ran out of blinker fluid on this. Come on. I honestly think that's what it is. Come on. Like, <laughs> things, like, The thing is connected to the thing. So right now this is currently week number nine and we closed off at $90,000. So this is my profit and loss calendar for the whole entire year, it's kinda cool. So we started off here week one, we turned it to 437 to then 3,000 and then we turned it over to then 15, eight, blah, 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 blah. I think if we keep going at the rate that we're going, if I turn this 90 to then 180, then we turn the 180 to about 350, 350 to then like 700, bro, on the first week of October, I can be at the million dollars. Like, I can, I can literally put the goal right here. It's it's so close. So honestly, I love the Cybertruck, but I hate this. Like, this is so gay. Imagine having to wait there 20 minutes for one of these, like some dude like this guy right here. Finish charging and then this guy comes up. Fuck that. This says he's gonna come and charge this shit for me. I'm gonna go drift. I basically barricaded in these two cars last night because I thought the storm was gonna be worse. And then obviously we have the can am there protecting them as well. What should I name these two cars with this hot pink color? This is actually cool, but our Beetle is perfectly fine. Oh, and I bought something new. Follow up on yesterday's trade idea. We're waiting for this to have a break and retest to head to the upside. But would you look at that? We already have the perfect break. Now we're gonna wait for this daily candlestick to close. We're just gonna wait for a retest to then head to the upside. Simple, easy, and playing out to perfection right now. This is my number one pair for this week as of this very moment. Why do you wanna learn trading, bro? I'm gonna have to do my try to grow up. When you grow up? Mm -hmm. How old is when you grow up? Maybe when I'm like... 16 and 17. 16 is growing up? Okay, bro. How old are you now? Nine. You're nine? So you want to learn how to trade because you want to be rich when you grow up. And when you're growing up, you're 16. <laughs> okay, I'll teach you. What's going on, guys? So today, as you guys can see, no activity in the markets. Just been chilling. Literally what my day has consisted of. 
just chill them. These potential buys are gonna be once we reject from this level right here. But when I go down to the four hour time frame, obviously it's very, very, very much bullish. Looks like it's retesting the structure. If I get my entry engulfing candlestick right around here, I will then move my entry points to here. Obviously after the engulfing, it would be right around here. And we missed this buy here because when price broke and never retested all the way, here it looks like it's breaking and it is retesting the structure. You want to enter the trade once it retests the structure. Here it didn't, so we missed it. Here it's finally doing. So this could be a third trade idea for tonight. why i don't like promoting brokers and if i were to ever do it, i want to test out the platform for a really long time look at this slippage that i have just caught in right now so you guys can see how i closed both positions around the same area one of them was in profit and then the other one got first of all split in half and then kind of break even so i explained yesterday as soon as price was going to reject here uh, to the downside we were pretty much in the green it didn't so once we had this pullback i'm like oh shit not good because it can retest this that one head to the upside as it's done here so once it has this little bit of a pullback this is where i close my position i closed it and then one of them stays in profit the other two is in a loss i don't understand and i've been all morning dealing with like support trying to figure this out and talking to people that i have so i haven't updated just yet but dude this is this is literally insane like this is this is so annoying like, i was literally in profit this is why i don't want to promote a broker right now i'm still testing this is where I start seeing the impact that I have on you guys. Look at this. Look how many people are taking the USD CHF So Look how much money is being made just because of some basic stuff that I'm posting. Look at this. This guy's up $8 on his flip. Um, let me see. This guy. I saw another guy here that was up like a couple thousand. But just, like, this guy's up $200 this guy is up like all these people are in the usd chf trade look at this guy this guy is up five thousand dollars <laughs> oh yeah this is as legit as transparent as a get boys look at this come on you can't make this shit up this guy's up eight thousand dollars holy fuck but then at the same time we also have gdp chf which is perfect for sales we have a very strong daily body bearish engulfing candlestick breaking under this level of resistance resistance retesting and now support we could see continuation to the downside but you have to be realistic and ask yourself how much more does this weekly move have maybe all the way to fill that wick that can be a perfect and beautiful opportunity for us to enter this sell from here to exactly where that take profit is funny enough we were actually interested in selling up here but we were literally sleeping catching up on sleep because of the stream but this one i might be interested in taking this sell as well might just want to wait for a break under the structure level so i can just trade the continuation not the second retest because what we want is momentum on this trade so stay tuned and i'm not gonna let you guys down and i'm not gonna let myself down i've been trying this for literally over about to be over a year already and this is my fourth time I'm trying to do this so I won't let you guys down I learned from my mistakes all I can say is I'll let my work speak for itself we were interested in taking the sell as soon as it broke and retested that neckline and what happened it completely went the other way because we waited for the break of the neckline just because you have the rejection from the right shoulder doesn't mean that it's the exact entry patience 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 this market was still waiting for the retest this market has now given us a potential better entry but i have to wait for a lot more confirmations now this one nothing and this one Nada. Like I mentioned earlier, why I wasn't super excited was because I expected something like this to happen. Um, I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised at all. I'm numb. I, don't, I literally don't feel nothing because I knew this was going to happen. Now, what am I going to do? Alex, what are you going to do? You're going to hold? You're going to... Yes, I'm going to set him fucking freak out. If I get a new entry, I'll even add a position. Simple. Yeah, I'm tired. Good night. So I just picked up one of my students. We, how, how much have you made in the last year of your trading career? 
about hundred and eighty thousand dollars. All because of Seven Forget. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy, crazy, bro. Crazy. Show, show, show them the pendant that you did. So he got the Swing Training Lab logo, and then he kind of made it customized with his own logo. Shows you guys that it's not a, it's not just about one person. It's about how many people you can impact. Uh, impact. Uh, I'm trying to like be motivational and like all ass at the same time. It's kind of uh, interesting. Tonight might be another battle with sleep. Watching this mark and give us an entry signal. Here we go again. Or a little bubble. What do you think about a bubble? Decent? That is the bubble. Factory Diamantes. The Chinese version. Wait, Chinese version or? Wait, that's not, that's the, that, that makes it sound fake. That's the Asia. Asia version. Uh, don't call it the Chinese Fuck, I know. Version. Is that racist? I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually like this one a lot. That is not plastic, that's carbon. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, good thing we cleared that up. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, see? Can't even make it up. hour and a half yesterday breaking down my mindset and the trade that I'm going to be taking in the week ahead usually I never share the pair I just show them markets and I'm like okay go figure it out which market it is I literally shared with you the exact market what I was looking to enter where my stop loss where my take profit was going to be you have no excuse on why you do not have this result exactly what I said yesterday that was going to happen has happened right now and the thing is that the slippage is only going to get worse the higher I start making money in the account. Like let's say I'm floating two, 300K on the account. Let's say I close that out and I only get 20% of that profit. I'm gonna be pissed off. I'm gonna be fucking mad. Because a lot of these brokers, they don't have liquidity. They don't have money to back all that up. Maybe, or they don't have good liquidity providers, whatever, I don't care. So I'm li literally going to switch now to a very corporate one. And I'll let you guys know as soon as I test it out, make sure everything's good. Maybe on the more expensive side, but I won't be able to have to deal with shit like this i can literally close out a position at 300k and i'll get my 300k because the more money i'm making on this account it's gonna be a lot more probable of this kind of slippage and if i do have this crazy slippage i probably will never even be able to actually turn the 100 bucks into the mill so i need one that i'm not gonna have to deal with all this crazy annoying stuff so currently I have this new drift car that i just have it here we have ferrari Big Boy Phantom, M3, Maybach, and then the Cybertruck. I'm thinking of putting the Cybertruck black, and then the years to have it parked somewhere else because they didn't have parking here. I got 30 because of the rain. I don't know, what do you think? Should I wrap this black to match out all the other cars that are blacked out? And the Cybertruck black as well. So make the fan funded go from black to purple instead of white to purple. I hit my goal for the week, and I said, you know what? We're done. We're not gonna trade anymore. We're gonna just recover. I have not slept this long in a very long time, and I, I literally just woke up today. I'm like, there's a hurricane pulling up? What? Like, I just realized what the fuck was going on. Mm -hmm. 